Additional materials that you will need for the power inlet box installation are enough wire to go from the inlet box to the transfer switch and the appropriate fittings to hold the wire in place. For a 30 amp inlet box, we want to use number 10 wire. I'm using a 10-3 jacketed cable for this installation, but your local codes may require that this wire be inside of conduit. You will also need screws or anchors to mount the inlet box. Remove the cover by loosening the screw on the front and then remove the ground wire. The power inlet box has knockouts on the back, sides, and bottom. If you're mounting the box to the outside of your home, you will probably be using the back knockout. You may want to remove it before mounting the box to the wall. Next, we'll remove the knockouts on the inlet box and the transfer switch. Remove the front panel of the transfer switch to get access to the wiring compartment. Now we run the wire from the inlet box to the transfer switch and secure it in the knockouts with clamps or conduit fittings. The terminals on the power inlet are labeled W, X, and Y. The white wire is inserted into the W terminal, the black into the X, and the red into the Y. If you get the black and red mixed up, it will work fine, but the white wire must go into the W terminal. Strip the wires about 5 eighths of an inch. Tighten the terminals from the side of the power inlet. The green wire and the grounding wire going to the transfer switch are inserted into the grounding terminal on the inlet box. After the wires are attached, we can put the front cover back in place and tighten the screw. Be sure to leave plenty of wire inside the transfer switch. Cut back the insulation and strip the wires for wire connectors. We're going to connect white to white, red to red, and black to black. The plain or green wire should be connected to the ground terminal. Replace the transfer switch front panel and the installation is complete.